Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce with BIS Media and today I'll be giving you a tour of my movie room. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while and I thought, you know, this would be the best time to do it because I will be making, well, me and my wife will be making room for a nursery and I won't be able to keep all the stuff in here. I'll actually be moving my TV and a lot of my speakers out into the living room area. So it'll be a much bigger area and I will make sure to make a video about that. But I did want to make a video of my current setup. I know you guys have seen some of it in some of my other videos just talking about reviews and whatnot. And I thought, why not give a detailed video about it? You know, like all the electronics behind it, how I have everything set up. So uh, without further ado, let's get this video started. Okay guys, let's get this movie room tour started. So here we have the full setup. Trying to get it all. As you can see, you got some LED strip lights. Those are Gobi lights. I think I got them in around 50 feet or so. They do wrap all around the room. I'll shut this so you can see this back wall. We'll start here. So on the back wall, I got the Saw 3 poster and Terminator 2. And then for my surrounds, I have Polk S20s. Pretty nice speaker, just kind of mounted there. And I got the movie room sign right there, just so you know, after you come in. <laughs> On this wall, I have the Halloween, the original, and I have the original Rocky poster and a little movie signs up above those two. And on this side is also the little concessions area. And on the top of the concessions area, I have a thing just for Terminator 2. That's my favorite movie of all time. And I have it on Laserdisc, VHS, PSP, UMD video, and I have the T2 arcade game for Sega Genesis. And my friend got me this right here. It's just a Terminator skull. Honestly, don't know where he got it from, but it's it's pretty nice. And the top comes off, and let's see if I can get it there. And you can put stuff inside there if you want. And this little LED light, I just got it from Walmart. I think it was like $10, $15. And I keep it back there. It glows red. Doesn't show up too well <laughs> on the video. But it does glow red just for the Terminator to look there. And inside this inside the shelf, I have a little Walmart tablet. And this actually helps control the LED strip lights that go all around. And it also controls the Govi LED lights I have inside the ceiling fan too. And also with this tablet, um, it's like I said, it's just a cheap one. It doesn't do anything super special, but I also have a collection app for my movies and my games, which I'll show you here in a moment. Um, going over the rest of the shelf, we got some more candy bars, more candy here. I have popcorn and popcorn seasoning. And then in the very bottom of these bins, I guess got these little bins from, from Dollar Tree and they hold all the chips in there. And they come in pretty handy if you're trying to grab some snacks. I don't have anything for a fridge for drinks just because the AC compressor going off usually makes the speakers pop. And I absolutely hate that, so I took it out. So let me show you here on this tablet. So this is the Gobi app. This controls all the lights in here. As you can see on the LED strips, I keep the brightness pretty low because if you're trying to watch stuff, it gives off this light, which you can even see it even when it's only at 30% right now. If you put it at 100, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video too well, but it gets way brighter. And these are very, very bright <laughs> if the room is completely dark. So I usually try to keep it low if I'm watching something, but it is a pretty nice way to accent your room just with lighting. And with this, you can make it do different commands as far as what you want it to do. And to have that on the lights in my ceiling fan. And with these commands, you can actually make it work with Siri or Alexa or the Bixby voice, I think, with Samsung. I don't have a Samsung, so I don't honestly know, but I'm pretty sure it would. So let's say, for instance, if I say horror, or if I just click this run button, it turns those bulbs red or you can make it do all kinds of different uh, light changing where it'll do a whole bunch of dancing. It'll flash, which I'm not gonna do that just because it, it hurts your eyes for sure. <laughs> but you can make it change all different colors. Same thing with the LED strips, but the LED strips, the, the coloring isn't the greatest because if I do change it, let me see if I can get it to show up on camera. And these are all connected through Bluetooth. There is Wi-Fi versions available, but they, I've heard the Wi-Fi doesn't work as well, so I just went with Bluetooth. Let's say, for instance, if I did orange on the camera, they kind of look orange, but in person, they're more of like a yellow-green, so the color isn't super accurate. 
like I said, these lights are very cheap. You can get higher end ones. I'm sure that work a lot better, but just for what I needed it for, this works fine. Now going forward on the device here, let me show you. So this app is called Libib and I actually put all my movies in this one. You can also do games or you can do a collection of both. It just has different collections for you. And if I go through here on the app, it only shows every single movie in a list. But if you're on desktop, it actually will make it where it has different pictures of all of them. It's very neat. You can customize it to however you want it. I have mine where they're just the movie posters, but you can actually use the phone app and you can scan the back of each Blu-ray case you have. So you scan that UPC code and it instantly pulls up all the information if it has been input before. So that's a great way to do it. I don't like having it look like the actual Blu-ray case and everything like that or that special edition or however many discs. I don't care about that. All I want it to see is you know, what the movie is, who the director is, who stars in the movie, like the top three actors and everything like that. So that's why I have it set up. It's a pretty nice app and it's free. And what I use for my video games is a separate one. It's called Game Eye. And this one, you can keep track of all your games in your systems, controllers, all that kind of good stuff. And it puts them in alphabetical order. This is pretty cool too. This is another free app and it's just a great way to store them. I got this because I can't keep track of every single one that I have. <laughs> so I can just pull this up on my phone. Same thing with the movies. I'm like, oh, I already have this movie or I already have this game. I don't need it anymore. And that's just a great way to be able to keep track of them. And it's completely free. And you should be able to get that on the Apple Store and the Google Play. And I can leave those links in the description if you guys are interested. Same thing with all these speakers and everything. I will put that in the description. So moving on, I have my retro games here. I should have a little RCA. It's like a 20 something inch screen. Got it off Facebook Marketplace. Um, I have the Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo Junior, original Xbox, the Top Loader NES, GameCube, and the PS2. Now if you look closer, these are actually covers. And I actually got these from a store called Printer Boy. He's based in Mexico. He has his own website. I'm going to link that below. All these covers are just desk covers, and you can get them in either vinyl or polyester. They're really cheap. You can even get customized different colors or special editions and stuff like that. Just a great way to keep your systems clean and keep them from getting super dirty because dust and moisture are some of the biggest things that destroy systems. So why not protect them when you're not using them? And then moving on to the front of the movie room here. As you guys have seen in other videos, these are the SVS PC 4000s on the subwoofers. Move back, sorry, a little bit further. Have the Polk S55s for the front left and right. The center is a Polk S30. Then my height speakers are Polk Monitor XT90s. You can either mount these on the wall, you can put them on the ceiling, or they were actually meant if you don't have any room for that, to put them on top of your tower speakers, especially for the Polk monitor uh, tower speakers, they're flat. They don't have these rounded edges. And these are flat as far as the bezels and everything on that. So it fits perfectly. On the signature series, it doesn't fit too well. So I just went ahead and mounted them on the wall just so they're out of the way and has a cleaner look. And then finishing it off with the display is the LG OLED 65 B8 PUA. It's the 2018 version. It's not the top of the line, but I believe it was like second from the bottom of the line <laughs> as far as our OLED models that year. One of these days I plan on upgrading it's at least like a, a 77 inch OLED, something along those lines, maybe even a projector. Um, I will be moving all the stuff out of here into a living room so I won't have the setup forever. So one of these days I might upgrade, just depends on money situations and everything at the time. Um, at the top, I have the PlayStation camera for VR. And inside the TV stand here, we have the PS3. I have the PS5 over there, and both of these obviously have those dust covers as well. And inside this cabinet is my newest stuff I've added to the movie room. This is the MR5100 Powerline Conditioner and Search Protector by Panamax. And then at the bottom, 
have the Panasonic UB820 4K Blu-ray player. I just got that as well. And then also at the bottom, I have the Nintendo Wii U. <clears throat> and to finish off the cabinet, I have the Denon X2400H. And it's been working like a charm. It powers all this stuff. And on top, I have the AC Infinity uh, fan that just blows on top of your receiver because the receiver gets extremely hot if you start playing for long periods of time as far as video games or movies. And you don't want those components to burn up, so it's a great way to keep it cool. And I believe I got that from Amazon. I'll try to find the find that uh, that product and link it in the description. Then moving on to the last wall here, have another Terminator 2 mural. I got this. I can't remember the store, but I found it on Facebook, and they do all kinds of different things for movies or games. And it's just a neat way to show off some artwork for one of your favorite movies, or in my case, my favorite movie. And then right above the closet, an emit one uh, wooden thing I got from eBay. I believe I got it for pretty cheap, like 15 bucks. And inside the closet, that's my house, all the movies and games. And on the back of the door, I got this shelf. I believe it's from Lowe's for pretty cheap. Maybe like $30 or so. And it just houses all the controllers as far as my retro ones. As far as some of my other PlayStation controllers, and the TV remotes and everything, I keep that inside this ottoman, just so it's out of the way. <laughs> Moving inside, I have all the PS3 games. And above that, I have a complete in the box, original Game Boy game, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, Super Nintendo, and the Nintendo 64. We have some of the Blu-rays there, and I'll try to capture this on video. There's a little too many in here. <laughs> <laughs> be able to see but it goes from that shelf all the way up to the top of the ceiling same on this side here all the way to the top and got ps1 games and i got these little containers from a thrift store they were like a 50 cents for a dollar or something for each of them have ps1 games and just some cds guitar hero controllers retro can't never go wrong with some guitar hero got those there Inside the rest of this white shelf, have Wii U, GameCube, original Xbox, and we have the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, Nintendo DS, and Nintendo 2DS. And we have some more Xbox, original PS2, have Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, and on the bottom, we have PSP, PS Vita, and some Game Boy games just kind of scattered through there. Inside this is my PS uh, PS Vita. Inside this, or inside this, this is the original PSP here. And I have some more games kind of tucked off to the side. Can't see them too well. Have original Wii's, Wii games. And got a whole shelf just full of PS2 there. Got my Wii balance board on the way for my Wii Fit. And on this shelf, on the left, we have just full of Blu-rays. All going through there. Yeah, all the Marvel movies on this shelf besides the new Doctor Strange. That's the only one I'm missing right now. All right to the bottom. And on the right-hand shelf, let's see if I can get this the other hand. i got a Wii controller I need to test out. And I have PS4, PS5 games all throughout here. And all the way down to the bottom. So that is the full tour, guys. Hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions about anything I'm showing you, don't be afraid to drop down a comment at the bottom and I'll try to return or get an answer to you as soon as I can. Like I said, I'll try to put everything in the description just so that way you can find a link to it if you're interested or want to learn more. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. That's the end of the tour. Hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and I appreciate you guys watching the video. Until next time. Hasta la vista, baby.